The thing with me is I'm trying to talk a lot more about the things that I don't talk about or haven't spoken about before because I, I'm, I'm feeling that, that freeing feeling from doing so, that release, and I'm enjoying that, that, that freedom and that feeling that comes from that. I'm at a stage now where I'm releasing it to the world. Like, I don't really care who knows. It's not private anymore. It's not secret. It's not like, oh, I can only tell my best friend. It's like I get, I get something out now of sharing those things that, I, you know, that we keep. We keep to ourselves for so long because of fear of whatever, whatever those fears are, or whatever makes us keep those things to ourselves. I get more out of sharing it now. That's my therapy, sharing it and releasing it. It's out now. Like there's nothing to hide and hold on to. It's freeing. It's really freeing. Yeah, man. It's like trying to fly with weights attached to you. Sandbags. It's like trying to fly with sandbags attached to you and then you, then you drop them off one by one. Like an air balloon. Exactly like an air balloon. And then you drop them off one by one and you start to lift up. That's what it feels like when you start letting go of certain things. You start to feel that, 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 uh, that light feeling, that weightless kind of feeling. And you, you, you lift, you know, you feel a bit lifted each time you let go of something that you've been holding for so long. It's like someone who's got like a deep dark secret and they've been keeping it and then they let it go and, you know, they, they can't hold it anymore. And then they feel that, that weight off of their shoulders, you know. It's, it, you know, no matter how bad it is, you know, that, that you know, the secret they've been carrying for, for so long and they, they, they let it go and then they can exhale again. And they, they, it might be bad, it might be really bad what it is, but they're free. They feel free now because they don't have to drag that secret around anymore, that weight on their back. Yeah, I know it is. I know it's true. That's what this year's been like for me a lot, like letting go of a lot of those things, letting go of a lot of those sandbags that weigh us down. You don't see me as a talkative person because I don't talk. Unless I'm on stage delivering something or speaking or performing poetry or something or in a movie delivering some lines. People ain't gonna see me. I don't speak. I, I, this is the first time people are hearing my voice, you know? And that's exactly what I'm talking about. I haven't even started saying anything yet. Uh, this is just like a, you know, uh, exercising the, the muscles, you know, getting ready like a, like a, you know, you, you stretch before you go do the actual thing. <laughs> this ain't the actual thing. I'm just stretching. <laughs> Now trust me, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, this is just feeling it out, feeling it out the ground, you know, just a little test run, yeah, 100%, this ain't the singing, this is just vocal training, <laughs> that's real talk, that's real talk, man, I haven't said anything yet, I've got so much stuff to let go of and to release and to speak about and to express, absolutely, over time, yeah, and there's no rush. I have the patience. There's no rush. Everything will come out at its time. Yeah, everything will come out in, in, its, in its time, at the right time. Because I'm not afraid anymore. The door is open now, so anything can come out now. The door is wide open. When the door's closed, nothing, you know, nothing can come out. Unless, unless you know, the door gets open for a second and shut again, you know, something might seep out. But now the door is wide open, so anything can come out at any time. Why now? Why now? I, that's, a, I, that's a fantastic question that, that I can't answer right now because I don't know the answer to why now. But I do know it's now and I know it's time and, and, and that's why it's happening now because it's time. But outside of that, I don't know why now. It's just time. <laughs> it's just time. It's just time. Nothing before it's time. You're like Jesus of the Bible. They say that uh, he didn't say anything for the benefit of mankind until he was 33 years old. So uh, imagine all of that that he had to give. It, was, it was, took 33 years before he, uh, you know, went out and, and, and spread the, the, let's call it the gospel. So imagine, nothing before it's time, man. I look at it like that. You said this is how I write my poetry. Well, this is the poetry. This is it. This is it as it's going to be. Yeah. It's being formed as I as I speak. It's about everything that takes to make life a poem. It's about all the elements it all comes together as one. All the elements that it takes to form that thing is all part of it. 